Good morning. Welcome to the first lecture of MBAF 5004 Financial Accounting and Reporting. The topic for today's lecture is Accounting Information System abbreviated as AIS. In order to ensure better understanding of the topic, the students should be equipped with the knowledge of basics of accounting basics of computers users of accounting information source documents required to maintain accounting records input devices used in computer information processors related to computer and information storage devices used to store data this lecture aims to fulfill following objectives develop understanding about the framework of information systems concept of accounting information system elements of accounting information system components of accounting information system advantages and limitations of accounting information system like any other business resources such as raw material capital and labor information is also vital for business organizations for its survival we can see instances that on a day on day basis vast quantity of business information flows to decision makers and various other internal users to meet a variety of internal requirements moreover information also flows from organization to external users such as suppliers customers stakeholders etc who have some kind of interest in the firm herein is a depiction through image which shows how information flows within the business organization as such there can be horizontal flow and vertical flow of information the horizontal flow supports operations level tasks with highly detailed information about the many business transactions affecting the firm this includes information about events such as the sale and shipment of goods the use of labor and material in the production process and internal transfer of resources from one department to another the vertical flow distributes information downward from senior managers to junior managers and operations personnel in the form of instructions quotas and budgets in addition summarized information pertaining to operations and other activities flows upward to managers at all levels management uses this information to support its various planning and control functions the third flow of information depicted in the image represents exchange between the organization and users in the external environment external users fall into two groups trading partners and stakeholders Ex exchanges with trading partners include customer sales and billing information purchase information suppliers and inventory receipts information stakeholders are entities outside or inside the organization with a direct or indirect interest in the firm stakeholders financial institutions and government agencies are some prominent examples of external stakeholders information exchanges with these groups include 
financial statements tax returns and stock transaction information inside stakeholders include accountants and internal auditors all user groups have unique information requirements the level of detail and the nature of the information these groups receive differ considerably for example manager cannot use the highly detailed information needed by operations personnel management information is thus more summarized and oriented towards reporting an overall performance and problems rather than routine operations the information must identify potential problems in time for management to take corrective action external stakeholders on the other hand require information very different from that of management and operation users their financial statement information based on generally accepted accounting principles is accrual based and far too aggregated for most internal users herein is the framework of information systems which is simply the set of formal procedures by which data are collected processed into information and distributed to users the two broad classes of information system that may emerge in a manufacturing firm from the decomposition is the accounting information system and the management information system the distinction between accounting information system and management information system centers on the concept of the transaction the information system accepts input called transactions which are converted through various processes into output information that goes to users transactions falls into two classes financial transactions and non financial transactions accounting information subsystems process financial as well as non financial transactions that directly affect the processing of financial transactions for example changes to customers names and addresses are processed by accounting information system to keep the customers file current although not technically financial transactions these changes provide vital information for processing future sales to the customers the accounting information system is composed of three major subsystems and these includes the transaction processing system which supports daily business operations with numerous reports documents and messages for users throughout the organization the second system includes the general ledger financial reporting system which produces the traditional financial statements such as the income statement balance sheet statement of cash flows tax returns and other reports required by the law and the third subsystem includes the management reporting system which provides internal management with special purpose financial reports and information needed for decision making such as budgets variance reports and responsibility reports management also 
often requires information that goes beyond the capability of accounting information system as organizations grow in size and complexity specialized functional areas emerge requiring additional information for product planning and control sales forecasting inventory warehouse planning market research and so on the management information system processes non financial transactions that are not normally processed by traditional accounting information system thus it is generally a computer based method for tracking accounting activity in conjunction with information technology resources an ias combines traditional accounting practices such as the use of generally accepted accounting principles with modern information technology resources accounting information systems are designed to support all accounting functions and activities including auditing financial accounting and reporting managerial or management accounting and taxation the most widely adopted accounting information systems are auditing and financial reporting modules an accounting information system is a unified structure that employs physical resources and components to transform economic data into accounting information for external and internal users in essence the goal of an accounting system is to record the financial data and turn it into useful financial information there are many different parts and components to any accounting information system but they can typically be broken up into five main categories and these includes source documents input devices information processors information storage and output devices moreover accounting information system is typically comprised of several modules each of which is designed to handle certain types of transactions and these modules includes accounts payable accounts receivable inventory payrolls general ledger and reporting based upon the various activities and the intent to perform these activities it can be said that accounting information system serves three basic functions and these includes first accounting information system ensures efficient and effective collection and storage of data concerning an organization's financial activities including getting the transaction data from source documents recording the transactions in journals and posting data from journals to ledgers second accounting information system helps in supplying information useful for making decisions including producing managerial reports and financial statements and third accounting information system help in making sure controls are in place to accurately record and process business data recording of various financial and non financial information under accounting information system is done to serve the following objectives and these includes support day to day business operations support 
internal decision making help fulfilling stewardship role and supporting planning and control of business operations in order to ensure successful implementation of accounting information system business organizations are required to have comprehensive knowledge about two uh, two effective elements first among these includes concept of accounting accounting is the principal way of organizing and reporting financial information it has been called language of business accounting and information systems comprise the functional areas of business responsible for providing information to other areas to enable them to do their jobs and for reporting the results to interested parties to that end an accounting system is used to identify analyze measure control summarize and communicate relevant economic information to the interested parties traditionally accounting is purely based on manual approach experience and skillfulness of an individual accountant are critical in accounting processes even using the manual approach can be inefficient and ineffective accounting information system resolves many of above issues accounting information systems can support an automation of processes large amount of data and produce timely and accuracy of information early accounting information systems were designed for payroll functions initially accounting information systems were predominantly developed in house as legacy systems such solutions were expensive to develop and difficult to maintain therefore many accounting practitioners preferred the manual approach rather than computer based approach however today accounting information systems are more commonly sold as pre built software packages from large vendors such as microsoft sage group sap oracle etc when it is configured and customized to match organizations business processes and requirements small business often use accounting lower cost software packages such as mayo and quickbooks large organization would often choose erp systems as the need for connectivity and consolidation between other business systems increased accounting information systems were merged with larger more centralized systems known as enterprise resource planning before with separate applications to manage different business functions organizations had to develop complex interfaces for the systems to communicate with each other in erp a system such as accounting information system is built as a module integrated into a suite of applications that can include manufacturing supply chain human resources etc these modules are integrated together and are able to access the same data and execute complex business processes today cloud based accounting information systems are increasingly popular for both smes and large organizations for lower costs 
with adoption of accounting information systems many businesses have removed low skills transactional and operational accounting roles the other essential element comprehensive knowledge and understanding of which ensures successful implementation of accounting information systems is information system an information system is a framework in which data is collected processed controlled and managed through stages in order to provide information to users it evolves over time and becomes more formalized as a form grows and becomes more complex it can be a manual or computerized system forms depends upon information systems in order to survive and stay in competitive market this image taken from wall street mojo shows the components of accounting information system and these components consists of person or specifically stakeholders data established procedures software specifically erp systems information system infrastructure and internal controls people or specifically stakeholders are one of the most crucial component for successful implementation of accounting information system if we look into the various activities that are being performed in a business organization we find that from start till the end of every accounting aspect there is a stakeholder who feeds information into the system collects analyzes reports etc also there is another person or stakeholder who needs information for example an accountant records various financial data and presents them for the use of multiple stakeholders like owner shareholders creditors government etc another major component includes data data is all about various accounting transactions events and other monetary items it should be kept in mind that any information which doesn't have a monetary base that is which cannot be calculated in money terms will not be considered under accounting information systems data can be anything like sales ledger customer accounts vendor ledgers financial reports like profit and loss account balance sheet cash flow statement etc the third major component is established procedures to ensure consistency this is one of the most basic needs of an accounting information system accounting information system may perform an action either with manual intervention or automatically this action needs to be instructed to the person processing data or coded in the system in case of automatic systems the fourth major component is software or in a broader terms erp which is a computer based program that performs the stated functions erp can be described as a database software package system that supports business processes and operations including manufacturing marketing financials human resources etc it forms part of the one of the most important components 
of the accounting information system the fifth major component is information technology infrastructure or information system infrastructure in simple terms information technology infrastructure can be said as a consortium of various information technology and information system hardware tools accessories for example computers printers scanners etc last but not the least the important component of accounting information system is internal control internal controls are the basic need of every business organization these are tools checks procedures systems which are adopted by an organization to ensure the integrity of financial information prevention of frauds errors safeguarding of assets etc successful implementation of accounting information system provides number of advantages to the business organization prominent among these are cost effectiveness in the era of digitization and artificial intelligence each organization is moving towards cost cutting with the use of artificial intelligence accounting information system has helped to reduce manual efforts and can perform the same operation with more cost effectively the second advantage is time effectiveness accounting information system has assisted business organizations in reducing the amount of time involved in recording classifying and reporting any financial information a large quantum of manual work can be completed with the help of ais with much fewer efforts and time involved the third advantage of successful implementation of accounting in information system is easy accessibility or portability data stored in ais can be retrieved via an information system connected with the internet anywhere and at any time this simply means that where manually prepared books of accounts cannot be carried accounting information system data can be carried the last advantage is accuracy with the involvement of accounting information system the reliability of data has increased as under ais predefined set of instructions are being followed therefore chances of error from information are less and therefore accounting information system has an added advantage of accurate data do successful implementation of ais provides number of benefits to the business organizations there are certain limitations to this as well the first major limitation of ais is high cost of installation and training though ais is cost effective the same may not be accurate in case of smaller business enterprises the cost of initial setup may be high and may not generate value for such kind of smaller organizations in addition to this there is a need to train users to feed retrieve or use accounting information system in the desired manner if the concerned person does not get trained well it can lead to inaccurate data preparation and presentation also there are frequent transfers promotions resignations retirements in large organizations in all these cases 
there is a regular need for training for replacements another major limitation of accounting information system is manual intervention it has been seen that although ais has reduced manual intervention to a larger extent the same cannot be eliminated accounting information system need manual intervention at a certain point of time which may bring inefficiency in the system another major disadvantage of accounting information system is errors cannot be completely eliminated though ais reduces chances of error but there are chances of wrong coding in software which may lead to error prone results also manual intervention is still present here which can also generate an error another limitation of ais is confidentiality due to portability of ais data there is always a probability of it being hacked or stolen thus confi confidentiality of the information of business organization is always on stake when it comes to use of accounting information system another major limitation of accounting information system is virus attacks any data stored in information systems can be infected with a virus that may lead to disruption modification of financial information stored in accounting information system another major limitation of accounting information system is obsolescence in the era of digitization technology is changing at a swift pace it takes very few moments for the technology to get obsolete this generates needs for an organization to adopt the changes at the earliest otherwise it may lead to error prone data to conclude an attempt has been made in this lecture to cover accounting information system in its length and breadth as such the following aspects have been covered in this lecture flow of information in business organization which includes internal and external flow framework of information system inclusive of accounting information system and management information system concept and components of accounting information system various advantages of accounting information systems for business organizations and at last various limitations that a business organization may face with the installation of accounting information system these are some of the prominent references which a student can access for better understanding and knowledge development about the topic accounting information system thank you and have a great day